Alright guys, my name is Shervin, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about, believe it or not, the Apple savings account. Yes, you heard that right. Earlier this week, Apple announced that they're teaming up with Goldman Sachs to unveil their very own savings account, which according to them is a savings account that offers an interest rate, which is more than 10 times higher than the national average in the United States. Now, granted, it is a bit weird that a tech giant like Apple is getting into bank accounts, but I guess they already had their hands in so many different industries that getting into banking was at some point inevitable. But now that they have announced that they're coming out with this bank account, it's time to take a closer look at it and see if it actually is as amazing as they claim it is. But before we get into it, if you are new to my channel and you enjoy this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. I make new videos about personal finance and investing on a regular basis. And by subscribing to the channel, you get to see all my new videos right as they come out. Also, if you enjoyed the video and want to support me even more, then do me a favor and smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. But all right, with all that said, let's take a closer look at the Apple savings account. Now, this account is completely free to own with no monthly fees and no minimum balance requirements. Additionally, any bank transfers that you make with this account are also free and have no fees associated with them. But since this is a savings account, the big question is what is the interest rate that you're going to get on the money that you put in this account? And the answer is a whopping 4.15%. Now, a 4% interest rate on a savings account is absolutely amazing. Again, remember, they claim that their interest rate is over 10 times higher than the national average in the United States. And this is actually absolutely true because the average interest rate on a savings account in the United States is actually 0.39%. So when you compare the 4.15% interest rate to 0.39%, which is the average, that number is absolutely amazing. But that said, at least in the United States specifically, it's not the highest amount of interest rate that you can get on a savings account. For example, Citibank, which is another American bank, offers 4.75% interest on their savings account as long as you maintain a minimum balance of $5,000 or more. Now, it is true that in order to get that interest rate, you have to keep at least $5,000 in your savings account. But remember, this is a savings account and realistically, everyone should keep at least six months worth of their expenses in their savings account as an emergency fund. So as long as you're doing that, you definitely have over $5,000 in your savings accounts anyways. So you're going to get the 4.75% interest from Citibank. So even though it is true that the interest rate that Apple is offering on their savings account is much higher than the national average in the United States, that fact is a little bit misleading because that doesn't mean that that's the highest interest rate that you can actually get. Again, Citibank is there with 4.75%. That said though, this is only for the United States. In other countries, this may not be the case. For example, here in Canada, the best savings account at this moment in time is the EQ Bank savings account. And that bank account offers 2.5% interest, which is very good, but obviously it's nowhere near the 4.15% that the Apple account is offering. Other banks like Neo Financial also offer 2.25% interest, again, nowhere near what Apple is offering at all. And don't even get me started on all the major banks in Canada. They all offer 2% interest or less. So if the Apple account was also available in Canada, it would easily be the best savings account across Canada immediately. But unfortunately, at the time of this recording, this account is only available in the United States and not in Canada or anywhere else for that matter. But that said, it doesn't mean that this is going to be the case forever. It is very possible that in the near future, Apple might start expanding to other countries. Now, when is that going to happen and how exactly is it going to happen? Who knows? But it is still definitely possible and something to keep an eye out because if this account comes to Canada, it would be a game changer. In fact, if anyone from Apple is watching this video, I would highly recommend you expand to Canada because you would be able to dominate the market in no time. But that said, even though it definitely is possible and something that could happen, I am skeptical as to whether it's going to happen anytime soon. And the main reason for my skepticism is the Apple card. Now, the Apple card was released all the way back in August of 2019. And again, at the time, it was announced that it's going to be available in the United States only for that period, but they're going to expand into other countries in the future. Well, now we're here in 2023, almost four years later, and there is still no sign of the Apple card here in Canada. So if four years wasn't enough time to expand the Apple card, which by the way, has been very successful in the United States. But if all that time wasn't enough to bring the card over to Canada as well, then I don't know if this savings account is going to cross the border anytime soon. But again, who knows, maybe it's easier to open a savings account in a different country than it is to start a credit card. 
So maybe something like that could play a part in the savings account coming over sooner than the Apple card ever did. But at least for now, as a Canadian, I'm not going to hold out a lot of hope for the savings account to come over anytime soon. But to my Canadian viewers, as grim as that sounds, I would still say keep an eye out because if this savings account comes over anytime soon, it's going to change everything. But for those of you who live in the United States, I would say go with the Citibank account. That account is absolutely amazing and you really don't need the Apple savings account. But that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't done so already, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and join the community. Feel free to follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Shervin House. As always, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that we talked about in this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I always respond to every single question that comes in. And now with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.